Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, I had a couple messages recently from some people who said they wanted to see this thing in action or, you know, hear what I'd uh, gotten out of it. And, um, I'm kind of going to do this off the cuff a little bit, and you're also going to have to forgive me if you hear a bunch of sniffling, hacking, and coughing because I'm not feeling too good. I got a cold going on, which seems to be going around over here quite a bit. Uh, this is my little Adam Jones uh, synth pedal setup, little fanboy thing. Uh, it's, you know, of course, Roland PK-5 and a virus. Um, I got the B, which is not what he uses. He uses, I think, the A, which it doesn't say A, it just says regular virus. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing. Some different buttons, um, at least different shaped buttons. Everything pretty much does the same thing. They just added a couple things in the B and then added a couple things more and changed a little bit in the C and then you know so on and so forth. Um, I've only had a uh, a few days to actually go through and mess with this. Uh, I've had the virus for oh hell maybe th going on three years now but my singer had it because uh, at live shows, we were using a little cheap ass, uh, I think it was an M Audio MIDI keyboard. It was like freaking $20 or something like that. And he was triggering everything uh, live. Um, because I didn't have one of these. I actually did have one of these PK 5s initially, like pretty much around the same time I got that thing. Um, but I had to sell it because uh, at one point I had an Epiphone and the fucking headstock broke on it uh... so i had to uh... you know sell this and sell the old marshall that i had and some other stuff and, and then that's when i got the newer old silver burst um, so like i said i've only had this for a couple days i've gone through and tweaked some of the sounds that i've had or uh, that i was using on there um, because i've had a little bit more time to actually you know try to figure it out um, nothing's really perfect right now. Uh, I don't have nearly anything close to everything that he uses. Um, right now, I think I've got the grudge and reflection, and then, you know, of course, Rosetta Stone, because the reflection noise is pretty much exactly the same as Rosetta Stone. I think it's just a different pitch, or maybe just a different note or octave or something like that. I can't really remember offhand or off the top of my head. Um, so, I'll give you a little demo. Uh, I got this thing plugged in to some computer speakers at the moment, just so you can kind of hear, but I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit, just, you know, because I don't know how well it's going to come through. Uh, this one is, yeah, the reflection sound. Uh, like I said, ain't perfect, so bear with me, but it's pretty damn close. <laughs> Like I said, it's pretty close. Um, I'm, I'm really going to love this thing. Uh, the only fucking damnedest thing about it is the pedals are a hell of a lot closer spaced together than you kind of would think they would be. Um, Adam Jones is a pretty skinny motherfucker, so I'm sure his feet are probably pretty skinny as well. Um, you know, I'm not, you know, a fucking toothpick, and my feet are, you know, size 12, so as you can see, maybe right there you know you gotta be pretty fucking accurate when you're playing this shit live uh... you know i know he's probably had to practice that shit a lot especially during reflection when you're playing the the riff and you know tapping the fucking shit at the same time there's a really good chance that you're gonna hit one of these other ones uh... at the same time which is especially you know problematic for me considering i've got some big old fucking honking feet apparently um, but I'm gonna get some different shoes that are a little bit, you know, not so fucking big. And maybe that'll help. Um, but let's see, there's the reflection sound. 
Let's see. Uh, it's got some weird ass fucking shit on here. Sounds kind of cool. Yeah, that was fucking loud. Uh, yeah, I don't think my computer speeder, speakers expected that. Um, let's see. All right, there's a grudge sound. Um, this one is. Uh, I was trying to figure out how to make this sound um, kind of the way he does it because on the album at least it sounds like and, and from what the, some of the live shit I've seen it sounds like he's pushing down on the note and holding it and it's making a general like kind of bass noise um, kind of at the lowest point lowest pitch of the noise and it's holding that I think uh, as long as he's holding the pedal and then once it hits a certain point in the rhythm um, or you know whenever he needs to release it he's releasing it and that's causing it to uh, rise up in pitch and then drop off again and you'll, you guys will see what I'm talking about when I play the noise but right now what I've basically just got is like a slow ascent noise and then a drop off and it's the first major synth noise that you hear from this thing in the grudge so this is basically the first one right here could have heard that so I'm gonna turn it up a little bit and do it one more time so that's basically what I got so far just because uh, I got a show coming up in a couple days and I wanted to be able to do this during the show so I wanted to try to get something as close as I possibly could um, in the shortest amount of time possible, you know, just make it as good as I could. Uh, here's the second noise, which is a little bit more identifiable. Um, like I said, not 100%, but it's pretty damn close, I think. Just a little growly thing. Sounds stupider up there, but it sounds pretty cool down there. Um, and then there's a third grudge noise, um, which is kind of a higher pitched version of the first noise, and it's a little bit shorter in my, you know, uh, the way I got it set up. Um, here's this one. That's basically the noise right before it starts the uh, little solo, um, kind of in the middle of the song. You guys probably know what, exactly what I'm talking about. Um, let's see. Uh, and then of course this thing has like 150 fucking sounds on there. Some of them are just weird. Some of them are kind of cool. Use them for filler um, in between songs, stuff like that. Uh, but as far as actual, you know, as close as I can get tool noises, that's pretty much what I got so far. I just got the grudge and, vic or, uh, not vicarious, I'm sorry, uh, reflection. Um, you know, so I'll be making some more. I don't really know how well this thing will actually transition into, like, making a video. Uh, which, by the way, um, use this opportunity to say that, yes, I am actually going to be making uh, videos again. The reason I haven't been making videos again is because the computer I had uh, that I made, like the newer ones, um, the actual recorded video, uh, videos that sounded better, that computer took a complete shit. Um, so I had to revert to using some shit-ass laptop that I got that uh, I, I really don't even want to show this, but I'm going to anyway right there that piece of shit and of course you can tell the fucking screen is cracked and everything about that it overheats like every five fucking seconds and it's just a piece of fucking garbage um but i got it hooked up to my tv right now and uh, uh that's basically how i use it instead of a monitor but i tried recording uh, i was actually going to record and post undertow <laughs> but uh it, every like five seconds in the song there's like this 
you know, fart out noise where the processor's taking a shit during the recording process, and I was just using a little M Audio USB thing. Um, I did actually get a newer one with two inputs for two mics, um, since I now have my new amplifier. Um, you know, there's the diesel, of course. You know, had that for ages. There's the new Marshall JMP, which after five seconds of focusing, ah, there it is. And got a 1960 vintage cabinet just because it was like $600 at a local guitar shop, which is insanely fucking cheap for one of these cabinets. And I was looking for one, uh, looking for a Marshall cabinet, and this is pretty much all really I had for an option, which you know, turned out to be a damn good option. But uh, um, it's like one of the only cabinets I could find that around here where I live that you know has a 4 ohm input to it or output however the hell you want to think about it um, cause you know I wasn't about to pay to have a fucking cabinet shipped to me and I didn't want to go to Guitar Center cause I fucking hate that place um, there's some pedals a lot different pedal board than the last time I had one which was like five fucking years ago you know got the little Voodoo Lab pedal power tuner a shitty ass uh, Dan Electro fish and chips EQ because that button is the worst goddamn button known to man and it's top loading for the inputs which is even worse because I'll you know be in the heat of the moment be like BAM and this thing will be like whoop and just pop the fuck out um, which you know as you can probably imagine really 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 sucks when you're doing something live in a you know during a show and all of a sudden just like it happened uh during lateralis one time right at the very ending uh section of lateralis where it's just me doing that da, 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 and then out it comes you know there goes the fucking sound uh so i was like sitting there bumble fucking around trying to get the damn thing plugged back in um let's see pedals uh, there's marshall again this thing uh is pretty damn cool this is the ABY box, um, the Twin City ABY box. Um, I mean, it's it's just basically a fucking ABY box, so you can hook two amps up to this, you know, one signal. Uh, what's cool about this damn thing is this. Uh, well, one of the main things I like so far the best is the lift switch. Uh, it's ground lift. It basically makes it so like if I if I would turn this amp up right now, um, apart from being you know ridiculously and insanely loud. Um, what it you know obviously it has like a lot of hum like you know if I turned it up and then you know had my guitar volume all the way up and then just like you know palm muted it and didn't play anything you'd hear this man just because you know it's just the way these fuckers are I mean you really can't get around it um, and it's even worse if you go to a place that has really shitty power um, you're just gonna hear man the entire fucking time you're not doing anything um, but this takes care of that uh, it's not a noise gate at all, so I mean, you know, there's because with noise, noise gates and noise gates and tools just don't mix because you know feedback, you're trying to get feedback and shit, it'll just like fucking drop off, and it sounds like ass. Uh, doesn't affect your sound at all, but you flip it on and it basically fucks with the electric uh, electric current going through whatever the fuck it's going through and basically stops the hum. I really don't know the technical details because I'm fucking retarded, but uh, yeah, it stops the fucking hum and it was really nice because I tested it and cranked this bitch up the other day. And you get some white noise coming through the speakers, which is unavoidable, but there was no fucking hum at all. No noise. And it was really nice. And it does it for both amps. So I can have my shit loud and not have to worry about fucking noising the shit out of everybody in the crowd. Uh, it's got this thing, which is a polarity switch, which switches the polarity of one of the inputs. I don't remember which one it is. I, I haven't really noticed what that thing does yet because um, I had this thing on a really low volume and I wasn't recording or doing anything. Uh, it's, I think what it's supposed to do is it switches uh, like the direction your speakers are going on uh, on your amps so that they're both going the same direction. So, you know, that's you know why it switches it only on one input. Like if you're, you know, this one's going out while at the same time your other amp's going in. Um, then you switch this and it changes the in to the out and then now they're both going out and it makes it sound fuller and actually better and not completely fucked up 
Uh, it's got a drag switch on, or drag knob on it, which basically is like just a little turn knob. Uh, what it does is it compensates for signal loss through long cables or through just a shit ton of cables, which I have. Um, and, you know, they obviously expect you to have some cable issues because, you know, you're running two fucking amps. Um, it, it, it does actually sound pretty damn good when you turn it up, you know, a little bit. It just basically kind of boosts your signal. Um, you know, you just don't want to use it too much or, you know, you're just going to be fucking really hot signal going on. Um, but yeah, that's that damn thing. Um, got the amps, covered this thing. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for now. Um, I actually, I think I completely skipped over the part I was talking about earlier about the computer issue and the recording. Um, I'm going to be making videos. I'm getting a new computer coming in sometime like the 9th. Uh, March 9th, so that's in a couple weeks. Um, it'll actually be able to handle some shit. And like I said, I got a new USB interface and so on and uh, all that kind of shit. Um, so when I get the new computer, you know, get some software installed, probably a couple days after that, I'm going to start putting up some videos again. Um, oh, and uh, another thing, another reason I'm not going to be able to make videos in, uh, for a little bit is uh, I got a, a hot plate coming for the Marshall. <laughs> Um, because I actually live in an apartment now. Um, I know, surprising, right? Because I got all that fucking bullshit. But I live in an apartment, and there's absolutely no way I can even really have this thing on, like, one, the Marshall, that is, on one. Because this, even with both volume knobs down, it still sounds loud. It's, it's insane. Um, but I got a THD hot plate coming. Um, the things were on back order. Uh, so if you were like, you know, anybody out there was trying to get a THD hot plate and like, you know, where the fuck is my THD hot plate? I just spent like 300 something dollars on this goddamn thing. Why is it not taking so long to get here? And cigarettes. Um, basically, apparently, or apparently what happened was, there they are. Uh, apparently what happened was, THD is, I did not know this, they are a boutique company. And the guy moved re, or moved his uh, business back into his house, um, and cut out all kinds of uh, uh, like sales through like musicians' friend Amazon.com. They no longer do that. They're they're basically just uh, selling their amps and all their effects and all the other bullshit they sell. They're selling it just through their website, I believe now. Um, well, anyway, if you don't know what a THD hot plate is, it's an attenuator, which basically means that it sits between uh, a tube amp. Um, and the speaker cabinet. Uh, you basically just take a you know a cable or speaker cable from the the tube amp, plug it into the attenuator, and then out from the attenuator into the the speaker cabinet. So you can run your tubes hot, and you know get the hot tube sound. Which you know if you're not turning your amp up, all you're getting is preamp. Um, and you know with these old Marshalls, especially in old tube amps like that, in order to get any kind of distortion, you got to crank the motherfucker because you got to get the tube or the power tubes working. Uh, those are EL34s in there, by the way. Um, so, uh, in order to get the power tubes working and you know have a, a good sound at a reasonable volume, they make things called attenuators. Well, uh, the one I'm getting is a four ohm because I run my amp at four ohms. Um, they weren't making uh, actually the four ohms yet. They were on back order doing the eight ohm ones. But I called the guy and talked to him a little bit, and he very kindly said that he was going to have his uh, assembler guy make me up a four on one and send it out um, sometime this week. Uh, he said he'd get it because I said I needed it, you know, would like to have it before the third because I have a show and I want to use the fucking Marshall and I'm not really entirely, I'm not, let's just say I'm not willing to bet on the fact that this is quiet enough to play in a fucking bar, um, you know, without pissing people off. But yeah. He was uh, he was very kind, very cool about it. Sent me an email, you know, saying how uh, uh, basically I'm gonna upgrade your shipping so it gets there faster, and I'm gonna also kind of uh, fuck up my process and you know help you out and make you uh, you know the forum one that you needed and paid for and send it out to you right now instead of making you wait another couple weeks. Well, he didn't say you know you're fucking my shit up, you know, but um, he was actually very nice. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just throw out a fucking recommendation for THD products, uh, hot plates. I don't know. I've never tried their amps, so whatever, but their customer service is very fucking cool. And, uh, once I get that thing, then I'm going to start, 
uh, making videos and I'll have the Marshall. Um, I'll probably do some opiate with just the Marshall and then undertow I'll add some other shit in. But I've been ranting for way too fucking long and I only meant this video to be like five minutes long. So um, stay tuned. You'll see more shit soon and peace out guys.